both centers. But when you make shots like we were early on, you know, those those worries go away. And um, we were fortunate and lucky to, to make more than we missed. And we made free throws tonight. We did everything we didn't do at Albany the first time. That was the biggest thing. You know, we didn't make shots. We didn't make free throws. They just beat us up and threw us all around the, the floor up there. Because they're big and they're physical. They're good. And um, we were just lucky to come out on the, the winning end tonight. And um, just hopefully we can keep the streak going. Questions? Kevin, how much did hitting shots early on kind of loosen up their zone for you? Like you guys a little bit more on, on offense? You know what? It did. It, it loosened it up. And it gave us confidence. That was the biggest thing. It gave us confidence. And we've been making shots lately. And I was nervous because, you know, every time we play Albany, it seemed like we can't make shots. But tonight we, we made them. Constantly made them. They made runs, and we we uh, we kept playing, and we kept answering their runs, and we came out, you know, victorious. Um, it's a good ball club over there. They're, they'll be good. And I tell you, um, all these games are big games. All these games are big fights, and um, we just came out on top tonight. Talk about uh, Tiki's performance over the past week. The last three games, he's just come up huge for you guys today as well. Well, you know, he's a big he's a, <laughs> he's a talent, and that's what we bought him here for. He started off slow, and this for Tiki, I, well, Emmanuel, I envision, you know, when we went out and recruited him. You know, people said X, Y, and Z about him. He's, you know, he's a good player. He's, first, he's a good person. Then he's a good player. And uh, he's, been, he's been good this week, these last two weeks. He's been good for us all year, actually all year. It's just that the scoring has gone up in the last few weeks. But he's been good. He's been sharing the game. He's our best assist guy. He plays defense. He comes to practice every day, gives us all. And, you know, hey. Doing we what we, we want them here to do. When they make a run, uh, they got it down to eight in the second half. Is there anything you say in a timeout or anything? Anything you saw them do differently than, than in times in the past when the Leafs went away? No, they, they are fighters. Uh, Albany's not going to just bow down no matter how many points we were up. They, they fought to the end. They fought to the end, and I expected that. You know, uh, They're a good team. They, some of those guys, I, I'm not sure, maybe one or two may have been on the championship team when they, they, they won the championship. These guys are not just going to come in and, and roll over. I knew that. They beat us, you know, and they thought they could come in here and beat us, and they gave us their best shot. We just got lucky and fortunate at the end to come out on the, uh, the victorious side. And Good teams don't ever give up, and they didn't give up, and that's what happened. Feel different to be playing from ahead? I'm sorry? Feel different to be playing from ahead in the first half? You know, the whole game, you know what was going through my mind, though. You know, UBC, because when we got up big, there, our guys got loosey-goosey. And I saw them start getting loosey-goosey. Then when we when they cut it to eight, I was like, oh, God, here we go. Let's just try to stall it. Or I, I was looking at the, the, the uh, scorekeepers over there telling them, you know, push that button a little faster. But, you know, hey, we grinded it out for 40 minutes. And I, I, I tell you, for the, that's the first time in a long time I thought our guys played hard from start to finish for 40 minutes. Played a solid game. I mean, it's plus and negative uh, assisted turnovers. Only thing was, they and, and they're, they're a really good rebounding team. They were put them with a plus nine on the boards, and that's, their, that's their, their motto. They beat you on the boards. They try to get second shots, but we only we held them to nine offensive rebounds, which is good by, by their standards because they usually get 12, 15 offensive rebounds. So. Tiki picked up his fourth foul with like 10 minutes to go. Did you give any thought to taking him out? Hey, let me tell you something. Like I tell these guys every day, you can't take your fouls to the next game. We're just going to play. If it happens, it happens. If not, you just got to play smart. He's he's um, he's smart enough. He's a student of the game. You know, he got four fouls. He knew it. He said, I'm fine. I was like, you know. Hey. A couple guys had four. Brandon had four. I think he was. No, nah, it wasn't Kyrie. That was on the game. But, hey, can't take, take, can't take the fouls to the next game. You've got some time off, obviously, now before you're going no to No time off. <laughs> no time off. Don't tell those guys that. No. What are you, what are you uh, looking forward to in this little bit of a break? And then talk a little about the BU game upcoming. Well, for this break, we got to, first and foremost, class. It's class time. You know, we, we're students first. Um, we'll get some shots in. That's the big thing. We'll, we'll get shots in. And, um, you know, we'll go over BU. We know what's at stake. I mean, Every game for us is a big game. We just try to stay at the top. We're just honored to be up there with the BU's, the Vermont's, the Albany's, the Stony Brooks. I mean, all the guys at the top. You know, we, we don't take anyone like no one. And these next few days, it's going to be more study, attention to detail what the other team does. That's what that's big for us. It, it won't be a lot of running up and down the court. 
mean, we only have four games left. We, I mean, we're short on numbers. You know, we got guys injured. You know, so we we just gonna we're gonna work on our our, our blackboard, as y'all would say, chalk talk. You know, more than anything, strategy, stuff like that. And we get a lot of shots up. Kevin, what's up with Theo? Stay today. We'll see when when the time comes. Is he injured? No comment. Next question. 26 points off turnovers tonight. Uh, what did you see from the defense to get the ball going the other way? We had 26 off turnovers. Hey, it's pretty good. I mean, I hope we can get 26 off of Boston. That's a good team. I'm a first place team. We're going up there. You know, we know what's at stake. You know, these are the games you play for. I told these guys uh, after we won at Stony Brook, I said, you know, playing Albany is going to be probably tougher than a lot of things because it's a rivalry. We know that. And it's Big Monday. I said, we always talk about Big Monday. It's Monday night, you're on TV. I remember the days of Georgetown, Big Monday. You, you, you call the recruits and tell them, hey, check us out on TV. Same thing here. We told the people, hey, it's Big Monday. We'll be on TV. I was nervous about that because I know how good and physical that team is, but these are the games you play for. And we're going to, to Boston for first place. Hopefully come back victorious. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Kevin.